to talk about the sights on the 499. Uh, this is called the upgrade sight. I think it comes standard on all the new 499s now. Uh, the sight is actually dovetailed right in this area then it fits on the dovetail on that part of the gun so to install the sight properly it's it slides into place on the dovetail this has been on there a couple times and it's down there properly and then what holds it into place is not the screw through the top. That's a mistake if you're trying to hold the thing in place with this top screw. The thing that actually holds it in place is the side pressure on these two screws. Fortunately the newer ones have an Allen wrench so they're easier to tighten and they're easy to over tighten. This is all just aluminum and if you over tighten and strip the threads out uh, then you get to invest in a new sight. The last thing I do is put the top sight in and all that's going to do is index it from sliding back and forth. Actually a careful reading of the instructions tells you to discard this sight but I've given up trying to get people to do that. Everybody loves to have that screw on their gun. So that's actually about properly installed on the sight. There's seems to be two types of sights. Apparently they recently got a new batch of them. So when you're adjusting the sights on your 499, it, um, it takes at least five clicks on the older sights and on the new sights at least three clicks to move the sight one scoring ring. So if you've got a gun that's sitting in, shooting in the seven ring, it could take 15 clicks to get it over into the 10 ring. Uh, moving at one or two clicks is essentially not moving at all. Uh, I wish I could tell you these were precision sights that are just uh, no problem, but your spare parts kit needs to at least have one or two spare sets of sights on them. Uh, we go through lots of sets of sights during the years, during the season. Sometimes they over crank, sometimes they get loose, sometimes a spring comes out. Uh, you need spare sights and they're not that expensive to have from Daisy. Um, if you start having to, you know, if you were sighted in into the 10 ring and pretty soon you're cranking it up and cranking it up, that's a sign that you've broken something inside the gun. Uh, either your compression chamber has gotten dirty or your uh, shot tube, uh, the muzzle plug is broken on that plastic. Something has happened. I have lots of guns come in to me that, oh, it just quit shooting all of a sudden. Uh, the sights are bad. The sights were just fine. It was something else that was broken in the gun. Also, if you're looking for a championship level gun, there's a little index mark right in the center of the left and right uh, adjustment of the gun. Most of the good championship quality guns, the sights are set correctly right there and they shoot that way. If you've got a gun where you're cranked all the way over to one side, there's something misaligned in the gun and it's going to be really tough to get that gun shooting at a, uh, at a uh, winning level. The other thing about the sights is that there's an insert in the front sight. You can compress that with your thumb and lift out that little circle and in your kit that you got, if you bought a new gun, there's a little brown paper envelope that has five different front sight inserts uh, that you can experiment with. Uh, so don't lose that little set of uh, sights. On the subject of triggers for the 499B, this website will take you to an excellent presentation done by a gentleman in Texas uh, that will tell you everything you need to know about 499B triggers. Uh, one thing I want to point out to you is that there's an older style and a newer style trigger. 
If you'll notice on this one, there's just a U-shaped here, and on this one, the U-shaped, there's a little nipple in the center of it. This is the newer style, and the trigger spring that sits inside of there mounts on that little nipple, and that stops it from falling out of the gun. And that's, very, that's a fine improvement, and uh, if you have an old-style trigger and are having trouble with the springs falling out, spring for a new trigger. Also, when you go back to reassemble the gun, you'll notice in the proper formation, this hole is completely open. If you try to put the gun back together and that hole is obstructed by some part of the trigger that's gotten down in there, I can only tell you that occasionally that can get blocked uh, if you've had the trigger apart. You need to have that trigger completely wide open for your safety to fall through so that when you're done, that safety is sitting in there with the spring and the notch on the bottom. Shoot them in the black.